Hey guys and welcome back to another video. As you can see from this change of scenery, I'm back in the UK, no longer in Muscat. I'm bringing you another video, another goggle review in fact. And this one has been regularly asked for and it is advertised by the brand Malmsten as the most copied goggle of all time. And I am indeed talking about the Swedish goggle, the classic, legendary, whatever you want to call the original goggle. These are in a league of their own and by most copied, they, they really are. Malmsten in Sweden was the original designer. They still create them, they still sell them today, but pretty much every other brand out there do their own iteration, be it something like Arena with their Swedix or Tear with their Socket Rocket or Jacket with their Spy, Speedo do a version, Head do a version, Mad Wave do a version. These, these, are, these are goggles that every brand has either done their own take of or just sells a Swedish goggle. And that's okay, but we're gonna be looking at the originals, the Malmstens, the cheapest of the bunch. And if you are gonna get them, probably the ones I would jump on. <laughs> If you look far enough back into the world of competitive swimming, there was a day when people didn't actually wear goggles to racing. They didn't wear hats, they wore cotton suits, and some people didn't wear goggles. During the 70s, there was sort of a changeover where some people would be wearing goggles and some people would opt to not wear goggles. And that was largely because goggles sucked and there was almost a trade-off to wearing them. It took many, many more years till we got to a point where we are today and that's where the entire swimming field would be wearing goggles and, and it's not even an option really to not wear goggles. If someone was to race or train without goggles, people would be like, whoa, what is going on here? The Swedish design originated in the 70s, so they were sort of at the very forefront of goggle designs. They, they, they kicked things off. The design hasn't changed. They still are as basic and as simple as they were in the original days. And people still race in these goggles as they were back then to this day because they're just awesome. And I think a large reason why so many brands have a variation of the Swedish is because their sponsored athletes want to wear a Swedish design, so they have to offer one. So Vladimir Morozov, for example, still wears a Swedish goggle. He just wears Mad Waves variation. Florent Manadou, Kate Campbell, they also wear a Swedish goggle, so they wear Arena Swedix. But the reality is this goggle is still super popular and still completely holds its own versus any of these super, super expensive goggles. Now, when I say these are cheap, these goggles I'm holding right here can be purchased for £3.60 from amazon.co.uk. Uh, that's ridiculous. I mean, we're in a world now where the latest Speedo Pure Focus are like, I don't know, 70, 80 pounds. You've got customizable goggles like the Magic 5, which are again, like big, big bucks. Even things like the Cobra Ultra with a swipe technology, you're looking at 50, 60 pounds. And here I'm telling you, there's a goggle for three pound sixty that are still worn by some of the world's leading athletes. Now, depending on what variation you get, you will be looking at a small difference in money. So, as I said, you're looking at about three to four pounds for the very basic clear versions in their multitude of colours. If you want them treated with an anti-fog coating, you're looking at about seven pounds. If you want a mirrored version or a metallic version, as they call it, you're looking at about ten pounds. And then to go for their full-blown jewel collection, which I did have a pink jewel version a few years back, they're about thirteen pounds. So, in the range of three to thirteen pounds. But truthfully, if you want to get in and try them out, I'd say get these for three pounds, grab some anti-fog treatment spray, and that's a true combo. The jobs are good, and you know these aren't going to fog in training, and you're not even paying the extra four pounds to get the the Mountstons variation of an anti-fog treatment that, like with any goggle, will eventually wear off. Now the thing with Swedish goggles is they're extremely customizable, and they come in there in the packet completely disassembled. And we're not getting any fa fancy packaging like you get with like Tears Tracer X Elite, which comes in a carry case with a hat. You just get a little baggy, and inside you get all you need. You get two detached lenses. I've got the brown brown pair here. You get a piece of string and a little tube for the nose bridge, and you get a singular goggle strap. That's it. That's all there is. And from there, you make the goggles. You can either use the string and the tube as a nose bridge, or you could just cut a little bit of the goggle strap off and feed that through the nose. While I do think the goggle strap as a nose bridge looks very cool, I've always had a better result with the, the string and the nose bridge, and that's what I've opted for here. Just like the nose bridge, the goggle strap's customizable as well. I've used the included strap and done a double loop 
like you get with most goggle designs now. And I've actually grabbed a fastening tool off of another goggle so that I've got a little bit more customization there. But that's not necessary. You can have a single strap with a tie. You can have a single strap with the goggle strap just hanging down like teardrops here. I've done that with a few pairs in the past and he looks pretty cool. You can do a double strap and tie it at the back, whatever you want. Once you've fed the goggle strap through, it, it really does take a little bit of pulling to sort of loosen or move. So that's not gonna become an issue. Because of how customizable and interchangeable every part of these goggles are, I know people that have had the same pair of Swedish goggles just replacing and interchanging parts as they break for 20 plus years. They, they really are simple and oh the strap breaks you replace it when the lens cracks not that i've ever seen that happen you replace it the nose bridge breaks you replace it these are the most customizable and fixable goggles and you know it becomes a little bit of a cult me and one of my best mates back when we used to wear swedish goggles we used to sit in the change rooms of four training sessions and sort of customize and modify our swedish goggles on a daily basis maybe we'd have one brown one orange lens Maybe we'd have one red, one blue. We used to just play around and have fun with it. And it was almost like, it, it, was, it, it was part of training. It was part of our process before we used to go and do our dry land. So now it's probably about time I address the elephant in the room. And that is that these goggles have no gasket. They have no silicone cushion. They have nothing that goes around your eyes. And, I'm, and you're probably thinking I'm gonna say something similar to what I said about the Japanese view blade goggles and that they're extremely painful. But for whatever reason, that is not the case. The same about these goggles that is just so, so comfortable. And I said, they, they feel so soft on your eyes. Like the, the blades just sort of dug in and, and, and cut my eyes up. These just almost feel soft, even though they're made of hard plastic. And they're super comfortable. Like I never had any issues wearing these for two hour training sessions. And I, I did, it was an entire season where me and a few of the boys wore these. And I've gone back and forth with other goggles since, but th these are, a great training goggle and they're a great racing goggle. That's why people still racing them today because they're streamlined, they're sleek, they're stealthy, they're, they're light, there's nothing of them. You know, they're not as hydrodynamic and, you know, chiseled like some of these Speedo and Arena and Tier models now, but they're not gonna slow you down. These are fast goggles, as, as fast as goggles get. And for £3.60, you can have a legit great racing goggle, a great training goggle, something that's more repairable than other models. And as I said, you could buy 10 pairs of these before you even touch the price of some of the competitor models. So what downsides are there? Well, there's a couple. For the first point, the, the strap is absolutely horrible. It's just it's thin latex, and I have ripped a few straps in my time. You can cheaply buy a new one, or you can probably just yank one off another goggle and, and get a slightly higher quality one if you wish. There's no fasting tool included. So once you have sort of tied a knot with the strap, you've got to hope that that fit is good. They're, they're much more finicky to adjust the fit by a little bit than if you do have a fastener strap, which is ultimately why I've stuck a fastener strap on these because I can change the fit a little bit easier on the fly. Something that you can't do with these goggles at the box, but again, once you've got your fit, you don't need to change it anyway. Lastly, the anti-fog is just horrible. And I said, the, the, these version, this £3.60 version, doesn't even have any anti-fog. It doesn't have any treatment whatsoever. The, 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 the inside of the lens is exactly the same as the outside of the lens. These fog really quickly. But as I said, I just got something Aquasphere or Arena anti-fog spray, sprayed it in before every session, and these performed like any other goggle I've ever had in terms of fog. And I say that because even though most goggles are now treated with anti-fog, after about a month, that treatment's sort of died of death anyway. So you're back to where these are anyway. So I think for the, I think I'd, I'd rather get a couple pairs of these without anti-fog and some anti-fog spray than just one pair with anti-fog treatment that will ultimately wear off. So there we have it. I could rant about the Swedish goggles all day. I love the awesome array of colors. And as I said, when, when we used to wear these, we all had about six, seven pairs in all the different colors. I love the customization of them and the fixability and just how comfortable they are for, for long training sessions. And seriously, they just look so cool. And I mean, you, you can't argue with me. How can you say that these don't just look awesome? And I would love to see a resurgence of people wearing Swedish goggles again. I think numbers are dropping. And for £3.60, you can't tell me why you don't want to give these a try. I think everyone, and I mean everyone who watches this and hasn't tried these goggles should go out now, go on Amazon, 
buy a pair of Swedish, have some fun making them up and see how you find the performance because I can guarantee you, you're going to probably be pretty surprised. As always, thanks for watching this video. If you could please take the time to subscribe, hit the like button, check me out on Instagram at the swimsuit guy 95 and I'll see you on the next video.